John Jacob Bausch lived the American story of a hardworking immigrant whose struggles and inventiveness led to great success. Bausch gave us more than a century of optical innovation. The roots of his discoveries took hold in a tiny optical shop in Rochester's Reynolds Arcade, where he sold European spectacles and magnifiers. Though he had trained as an optician in his native Germany, his first job in America was that of woodworker. After losing two fingers in a workplace accident, he returned to his first love, optics. He initially shared space with a cobbler who threw old shoes on the fire for heat. When Bausch moved to the arcade in 1853, he borrowed $60 from his good friend Henry Lom to keep the business afloat. The two shook hands and set out on a path to creating a new industry in America. Even with the loan, the business floundered until Bausch stumbled on a piece of vulcanized rubber on a walk in New York City. He began to experiment, carving the rubber into a shape, melting it on the family stove, and hand forming it into eyeglass frames. The popularity of the affordable and durable vulcanite frames, Bausch's skills and inventiveness, and Loam's continued support and leadership enabled the company to thrive. By the 1870s, water-powered lens grinding machines were producing the first optical quality glass made in America. By 1885, Bausch & Loam was Rochester's biggest industry. It would grow to become the largest optical company in the world. Bausch's creativity led to a dizzying array of innovations in the century that followed. Photographic lenses, turn-of-the-century patents for microscopes and binoculars, equipment for testing eyes, wartime telescopes and groundbreaking sunglasses for the military, motion picture lenses that produce cinemascope and an Oscar for industry contributions, lenses for the first satellite pictures of the moon, products for eye surgery, and the first soft contact lenses. The expanding company also played a role in the formation of Rochester Institute of Technology. In 1885, after a day of interviewing men for the position of lens grinder, Bausch was discouraged with the applicant's lack of technical skills. His partner, Loam, took up the task to create a school for such training, and the Mechanics Institute was established that same year. Always active in the business, Bausch was often on the factory floor working alongside employees. In the mornings, he stood at the door and greeted them by name. In 1905, he wrote, The various difficulties that have crossed our way were removed because every one of us did his level best. J.J. Bausch's children carried on his work to develop the company and help people see. When Bausch died at age 96, he was eulogized as a man of far-reaching vision, of undaunted courage, of unfailing hope.